Hello YouTube friends, audio friends, people that love amps. This is a Kenwood M2 that I just finished uh, using uh, the DRM kit from DRM Audio. And he supplies everything you need to rip and replace the old heatsink out of these units. <clears throat> and I did um, more than just the heatsink, I did uh, a cap kit. Uh, so the board's been recapped, less the main caps, and I did the cap kit uh, for the power supply and the cap kit for that front panel. Now this is the old one. Now the way these amps work is they've got a high power and a low power side of the amp. Uh, back in the day uh, these are a dual these are a dual transistor and to actually replace these is very expensive. You're looking at about 50 bucks if you can find originals per unit. These two were blown so instead of screwing around with all that stuff, I decided just to bite the bullet and buy his, his uh, modification kit. And he supplies uh, new outputs, new drivers, new pre-drivers, heat sink, um, basically everything you need to, to rip out the old garbage and put new in. And I also did the relays. <clears throat> Once I powered the unit up on a dim bulb, which is this guy here, um, we figured out that... Um, we got some problems in the bias or setting the bias so we'll power it up here and you get a new bias pot and an adjustment tool that comes with the kit now these are supposed to be biased at around 13 millivolt so as you can see here we're going to start climbing in bias so that'll bias up to about 13 with my adjustment now we're going to power the unit off and this is a little tidbit that I learned about these amps. Um, they have an IC uh, right there. That IC is called a TA2031. And it's um, made by Toshiba, I believe. The TA signifies Toshiba. So I'm just going to hook up to the other uh, emitter resistors. And I'm going to throw my adjustment tool in on this guy here, which is the other pot for the other channel. I can get it in here. There we go. So it's in. I'm going to turn this on. You're going to see something here. I'm going to adjust it up. And that's the max it'll go to on a dim bulb. So you saw the other channel went to 13. Actually, it goes up to 30. On this channel, I'm getting 2. So I called uh, Daniel at DRM Audio and said, Have you seen this before? Because I checked everything in the bias circuit. And he said, Yeah, yeah. Basically, when, when the, the channels blow, it takes those TA2031s 20, with it. And what they do is they control the switching. So here you'll see I've got big outputs for, for big big sound, like when you're hitting the 100 watt and above. And then you got smaller outputs that run the smaller um, audio, like 10 watt, 15, 20 watt. And what these ICs do is they're responsible for not only bias, they're, they're also responsible for switching um, between your, your voltages. So if you're running the low power stuff on here, which it says on these boards, low power and high power, um, as your audio starts to go up, these ICs will switch between these outputs. So if, if the something's blown up on these ICs, um, they won't bias properly. You'll either have no bias condition or um, you'll be able to bias a bit, but not much. So what I did in the interim is I, I swapped these ICs around. So originally this channel here was the channel that wouldn't bias. I swapped it over between the two channels. And now the bias, the ability to bias moved to the um, to the other channel so we know now that this IC is bad so I've ordered that IC and it's coming in today so I'm gonna flip this unit over and I'm going to pull the IC the, the front channel I guess you could call it on the board and uh, <clears throat> we're gonna replace it when it shows up so there's our part that arrived and there's our part that we pulled now if you flip this over there's a stamp on the back and this one nothing so um, when I bought this off of eBay um, from the supplier out of New Jersey they said uh, this is new old stock so we're about to find out if this is gonna work because a lot of fakes come out of China and you got to be wary of that stuff so I bought it with the understanding that uh, it was a legit part but not having a stamp on the back kind of makes me nervous so we're gonna stick this guy in and see what it does Stay tuned. Alright, so we soldered in 
that new IC. As you can see, we're on that front channel now, and we got bias. So I am very happy that our amp is biasing now. Gonna have to let it warm up a bit and keep adjusting, but uh, we should get some sound out of this thing now. I'll uh, turn the camera back on when I got her all set up. So I got everything hooked up, and I'm using a demonstration song that is supposedly not copyrighted. <laughs> country music song. As you can see, my on-off uh, AB and AB speaker setting works. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. My input knobs work for uh, level control. Yay. It's going to be fun to hook this up and listen to some good music. Anyways, that's my video.